Because they are very quiet, it's it's unusual. I'm like, okay, okay. So this uh, catchy title is uh, is working, <laughs> apparently. Uh, I'm here to talk to you about Secret Media, a startup for which I'm working. So um, uh, you probably know me as the president of Silex Labs and volunteer uh, for uh, social work. And but I'm here to talk uh, as a, a member of uh, a startup today. That's quite different. So Secret Media is a startup who addresses the, the main issue on the internet today, according to me. Um, it's uh, advertising. Because, you know, advertising today uh, is dealing, is inf interfering with our experience as users, uh, with our privacy, uh, and with freedom of press, because without advertising, you don't have press on the internet. You don't have media anymore. So, Secret Media. Oh, wait. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to cancel this speech because uh, they just told me, you know, it's kind of secret. So, uh, we have 10 minutes left. I propose we, we play a little game instead. You know Hedge Wars? It's open source. A clone from uh, for, uh, the Greek game of worms. And, yeah, okay. No, I'm kidding. Okay, okay. We play. We play afterwards if you if you're okay. No, I, I really will uh, talk about um, advertising. I'm sure you don't know what I'm talking about because I'm sure you're using ad blockers, right? In in uh, with people like us, it's like something between 60 and 80 uh, percent of the of the users who who have an ad blocker. That's huge. And uh, worldwide, it's today something between, um, it's more than 30% of the users on the internet who have an ad blocker. So you see it's kind of uh, impressive adoption rate of uh, ad block, uh, one of the ad blockers, there are many ad blockers. And uh, this, it's the same uh, reversed uh, uh, diagram. And this is the revenue of uh, the websites who live from advertising. So, what the fuck? They are really blocking our ads. We are, wi we, we are wi uh, uh, writing content for them. We are, you know, it's, it's our job. We are journalists and, uh, and they are blocking the, the ads. What? Why? And I can tell you because these people are our clients, uh, at our customers at Secret Media, and they really don't understand. But in fact, what they don't understand is what happen, what's happening on their pages, on their uh, websites. They, they just don't get it. Uh, ad tech companies, uh, there are many ad tech com companies uh, taking advantage of them, of their uh, ignorance of what's, what's really technically happening on the page. And this is really frustrating for them. They, they don't really care about, uh, you know, all the techie things and uh, all the uh, about us, in fact. So, uh, yeah, we, we 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 meet people like that, and we say, okay, you have a problem, and maybe we we can find a, a kick-ass solution for you. And they say, okay, no problem. You just have to put back the ads. So, you think uh, I, I'd like to do that? Who thinks we do that? Yeah, that's what we do. But not only we also optimize the ads and eventually we'll start to block some very uh, intrusive ads because I'm a user too and uh, I don't want, you know, like. So how do we do that? Uh, it's technically very complex because the, the ads are in Flash and JavaScript. And when you, when you are a user with, uh, without any cookie, for example, or in some cases, the, the company, uh, the company who, who sells uh, the, the the placement, the the, uh, the advertising agency, they don't have ads for you, so they load another company's ad, and which can load another company's ad, and that's how you get every time an ad. And sometimes these Flash and JS files they load other um, JS and Flash files which are not ads, but uh, which are 
trackers and some, you know, um, they, they try to be sure that you're not a boat and you're not fraud and uh, they, they measure a lot of things. They, they measure view, viewability, for example, for in order to know uh, who really saw the ad and uh, uh, because sometimes the ad is at the bottom of the page and, you know, you don't want to pay if it's if it's so it's a lot of, there are a lot of ad tech companies and at the end you have something like that don't try to read it it's a, it's the ad tech world so when an ad uh, uh, starts to load I mean, it depends on your ip address on your cookies on your uh, on your setup and on who you are and and at some point you you'll start to to load something which loads something which and that's exponential like that so that's uh, that's the situation and uh, we have a solution to uh, to make it uh, to optimize it and to block the intrusive ads and also to unblock the acceptable ads for our clients because it's uh, very important and there is no no other choice than proxifying everything so every file flash or javascript file or even html file, uh, files have to go through our servers since they load uh, each, each other, uh, we have to modify them. So when they load something, they load it also proxified with our uh, infrastructure. And we obfuscate everything, uh, the URLs, because Adblock blocks them. And we analyze the URLs to, to know if it's an, an acceptable ad or not. And we obfuscate also the, the class names in the DOM, the divs. And uh, everything has to be obfuscated so that Adblock doesn't uh, see us as ad and so that it goes through our system so that we can uh, optimize it and block it if necessary. I'm talking about modifying HTML fi files, CSS files, because they are, they have also uh, URLs in it and also div names and etc. cetera. Uh, JS and uh, Swift files. I'm talking about modifying bytecode of Swift files and uh, uh, also interpreting the, the JavaScript on the fly so that, for example, when a, a JavaScript file is uh, trying to access window location to know whether it's loaded from a, a normal domain, domain or a proxified domain and block everything if it's not their domain. That's what Google do, for example. And uh, when, when they do that, we have to intercept to change the code so that it believes it's on the original domain. That's kind of crazy. And this, we do it on the server side and on the client side, because sometimes we can't catch it on the server side. We can proxify, for example, the first page when you arrive on a customer page. Nah, that's cool, isn't it? <laughs> OK, so I'll talk a little bit about secret media. Because uh, I kind of like my startup. Uh, the team first. I think you, you'll know everybody. That's the tech, the tech team in order of arrival in the company. So that I, I was the first tech guy here. And uh, then you have Clemos, the charming, uh, sublime text uh, Clemos. And uh, back to Dos UI, you, you know him also, and JB, who talks a lot this year to the conference. So that's kind of Silex Labs, you know, part of Silex Labs teams we, is, is involved in secret media. Uh, we are in Paris, but we have also five sales uh, person in New York and our beloved two founders who, who are uh, serial French serial entrepreneurs who lives in New York and they, uh, they have, they see, they saw it coming two years ago. So it, they, they, they are visionary and, and very, very nice, nice people. We have, yeah, after one year and a half, we, we make kind of good money and we have uh, very interesting clients too. Um, yeah, two million hits per minute. That start to be interesting for our infrastructure. We handle everything in Paris, the team, the, the infrastructure, thanks to, uh, we were helped by people we know also who, who are shareholders in the company. And uh, so we, we have the, the means to, to handle that. We are 100% hex code. We use the JavaScript, um, Flash, and Node.js targets. We compile, um, we do all this, uh, you know, it's a kind of very nice mix. And the secret sauce, 
because you know it's a very unstable environment we are we're dealing with like the the ads can change from one day to another sometimes you have uh, uh, .html files with which are not html but javascript or javascript file which serve uh, at the end uh, swift so that's kind of crazy don't trust the meme types it's uh, it's really really unstable and it changes every day so we have um, very important uh, Part of our code, which is monitoring, uh, we we um, uh, we go to to the, the client customers' websites and check that we don't mess up with the website because the content is kind of important. And uh, also, we have functional tests, unit tests, and uh, continuous deployment, of course. So, what are we about to do now? We we unblocked the video ads for now, and that's that's how we we make. A, uh, living right now, but we now we need to address the display ads, like you know, AdWords, like or little banners, everything, and then we'll try, we'll start to uh, detect and optimize the ads, which is the most uh, interesting part. Uh, okay, we have uh, subjects like uh, infrastructure and uh, monitoring tools, which we have to improve that, and we will play with the big data because we see all the cookies of the whole world going through our servers because we proxify everything, so we proxify also the cookies, and there is there are very interesting subjects there. So that's why we need brains. That's why uh, we are uh, we are a sponsor of the conference, and that's why today uh, I'm I'm calling you. We are looking for one DevOps. That's a very good sign that uh, uh, many companies try to hire hacks developers. That was not the case a few years ago, if you remember. So that's a, a good job of, of us every uh, as a community. And uh, yeah, apply today, please, and try to start to train because Hedge Wars is kind of you know our our thing. So if you're really bad at playing Hedge Wars, you just don't. Don't try. <laughs> okay, thank you. Do you have a question? I think. You. <laughs> it's in Paris. If you if you apply, you'll have to come and live with us, and that's that's not so bad, you know. <laughs> that's part of the. It's just uh, some funny question. Why, uh, after Pasiba, you don't play this sign, you know? <laughs> oh, when I say thank you in Russian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just copy pasted it from a website, and I was not sure if you have the, you know, the, yeah. the mark like this, but yeah, you do. Okay, my bad. <laughs> Spasiba. <laughs> I'd ask why there isn't thank you in Bulgarian, but. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you, what? No problem. <laughs> A Bulgarian, yeah, we have it. It's just uh, you don't see it here, but it's, right. it's in the page. It's, it's secret. It's, it's secret. in the code. It's in the code. It's secret, right? Okay. Um, now, now, more serious question. Um, there's this new Brave browser from JavaScript creator. Maybe most of have heard of it. The Brave browser. The, I, I don't hear you well, so maybe without the mic, I don't know. It's it's a new browser oh, by, new browser. by JavaScript creator Brandon Eich. Yeah, okay. It's called Brave. Okay. And it targets um, stripping web pages of ads and paying content publishers and creators through Bitcoin. So I'd, I'd ask, how do you see it? Is it a rather competition or maybe you come before them and manage to deceive them in order for them to not block your ads? But um, as I said, we don't just block ads, right? And they, they do just block the ads, that's the point? Or, or they unblock it? I didn't understand. Um, I, I think they block them. They block them, okay. Um, they will have very hard time blocking us because, you know, even uh, when you install a, an ad blocker on the network, we can, you know, we, we go through it, and it's very hard to know what, what is. Uh, it's part of the job, you know, they are 50 50. Sometimes we have to cut to, to yeah. So uh, I think, yeah, I, I'm, I'm interested if you have examples where uh, our ads are blocked and we can not unblock it. I'm very interested because, you know, but I'm sure it's very little part of, yeah, of maybe, the traffic. Maybe you so could it's, just, just try running through that browser. But anyway, it was I, I, I'll, look, I, I'll come to you and you, you'll show me because I'm, I'm curious. Um, okay, okay, we can do that.
Question? I don't know about, about, yeah. Hi. If we are a company interested in unblocking ads for our website, how much does it cost? To unblock the ad, how much does it cost? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a cut on the, on, to, on what we unblock. And, uh, and when we block ads, it's, uh, it's free of charge. But yeah, it's, it's a, it's a cut. It's a cut. It's a small, small part of what, you know, for the website get. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Any question about the team or, you know? If it's not too hard to work with these guys, and yeah, it's kind of uh, it's a sport. Uh, you are. It's a real challenge. Yeah, it's easier to play hedge wars than to cope with these guys. But. Okay. Ah, I think we have one last one. How many uh, macros are in the secret sauce? <laughs> okay, yeah, we do have macros, right? Because <laughs> we, we didn't know it, but once one time we, we just go through the code and, oh, shit, he put macros everywhere. So, and, and Tinkerbell too, and uh, yeah. We have a real nice uh, stack of tools. Uh, it's completely custom, and uh, it's by, we use a lot uh, Hackslib, and we use a lot macros and we use, a, we use a lot of tools which has which are really hacks uh, oriented only hacks yeah that was a good one okay so don't forget to apply and come and work with us i i hope i'll find good hacks or more good hacks thank you very much and thank you for coming thank you.